hey, what's going on with all this white stuff? Snow? Snow. That's a weird way to call it. I just call it ice. But whatever. Why is it so freezing out here? I have to help to just to blast all the snow away. No, don't. Why not? You'll hate me? I... Well, I don't want you to hate me. Not that I care, but... Fine, since you care about it so much. <laughs> hmm. What's under? What's getting on my nerves? Just everyone. I walked into a nearby city just wanting to buy like a cinnamon roll or something. Because, you know, I recently got a job as a martial artist and a bodybuilder. And just people. They're all singing and cheering and caroling. And why is everyone so insistent on Saint Nick? Who is Saint Nick? I want to fight him. Oh yeah, I want to fight him. This Saint Nick sounds powerful. Same with this guy apparently called Father Christmas. Just imagine the most epic fight we can have. All blast going everywhere, punch after punch. Oh, it gets my Saiyan blood boiling. Uh-huh. What do you mean, that's not real? Do you telling me I got this hyped up over nothing? Oh, that... Well, of course I got excited. No one on this planet can give me a challenge. It's like being the strongest man alive, but you can't do anything with it. There's nothing to push me. The closest I got is Kakarot, but he's a... Ugh. Can't stand him most days. Granted, he is just a kid, I guess. <sighs> Although we did recently take down Piccolo, so I guess there's that, but Piccolo was hardly a threat anyway. I mean, Kakarot's barely at a thousand. Hardly worth a threat. Well, I don't know, he's like 600 in actuality, but still hardly a threat. <sighs> And this Piccolo is at like five or four hundred. It's just. They're both weak. And there's just nothing I can do to get a stronger opponent. Frustrating. And with everyone all cheery and celebrating. For what? We celebrating a fat man going down a chimney? What's to celebrate? I could blow away chimneys. I could literally one punch chimneys to death. And people don't people don't celebrate me for that. No, instead they call the cops. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh-huh. It's about the spirit of family. <laughs> Let me tell you something about my family. My eldest brother was an elite, and you know what he did? He wiped out several planets in a week. My father was top gen one of the top generals in the army. And you know what? He died as a pathetic wimp. And then there's me. I don't even get close to their power. All right. I am the weakest in the family by far. The runt, if you will. Do you know what that means? It means I was given no love or treatment from anyone. Hate and scorn was all that was given to me. And I don't care for it. Hmm. Do I want to celebrate Christmas with you? Uh, what even is a Christmas? All right, fine. I'll get you a present, you give me a present, and we'll call it a date. Or a Christmas, or whatever. I'll see you in a week. Hey, someone home. There you are, starting to think you weren't gonna come. Yeah, I got you a present, why are you surprised? 
I agreed to it, didn't I? <laughs> Stupid human. Are you going to let me in or what? Thanks. <sighs> so, how do we do this Christmas thing? Do I, like, punch you and then you punch me back and then I... Uh, no? Okay. Oh, I give you this present? Okay, here. Take it. Oh, and you gave me another box? What am I going to do with this box? Uh, open it? Fine. Huh? What's this? A capsule? What am I going to do with a pill? Swallow it? No, uh, throw it outside. Fine, I'll throw it outside. Don't know what this is going to accomplish. Whoa! What is that? What, what was that? A weight training room? What does that mean? It can go up to a hundred times Earth's gravity, and it'll train your body? You got this for me? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> you have no idea how hard I'm going to train in that thing. Hmm. Oh, I'm just going to hug you forever. Uh, I mean... <clears throat> I mean, it's it's fine. It's, it's, it's a great present. Um... Oh, you're hugging me now. I suppose it ain't bad, though. You are warm. Oh, I don't know if you're gonna like my present, then, if you got me something that great. Well, you got me a gravity training room. That's the best thing I could imagine, and... I got you something way less impressive. Maybe I could take it back and get you something better. That'll be fine, but, but wait. Oh, you're opening it up. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were going to get me something so grand. I, w I should have gotten you something better. Uh, oh, you like it? It's a Saiyan uniform. Well, uh, it means that I see you as my equal. And... I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, would you want me as your, um, partner? Uh, do you not get it yet? Uh, I want to mate with you, and I want you as my being to be, the one I'll spend the rest of my life with. You've given me extreme kindness despite me treating you like crap. So it made me more dear to you to keep coming back around. So of course I would want to be with you. You're so kind and trusting. I want to protect that. And believe me, I'm going to be using that gravity training room to do that. I'll keep getting stronger and stronger. And I'll be that legendary Super Saiyan that they're fearing. Oh, my father said something about I was a legendary Super Saiyan because I was born with a power level of 5,000. Yeah. I don't much know what that means. I know my hair turns green and stuff like that when I get really, really mad. I go kind of like berserk. Uh... Yeah, not the best thing. I'm really good at controlling my rage, though. <laughs> Have to be when you're someone like me. Oh, you're getting closer. So is that a yes? Mm. Say yes. <laughs> I love you, dear. <sighs> you make a Saiyan proud. 